following is a special presentation of ESPN on ABC. The Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama, two and two thirds miles around, the biggest track in NASCAR, a place built with only one thing in mind, speed. The action here is so good, fans from all 50 states and 18 countries around the world have bought tickets for this weekend's races. Today, they'll see a field filled with NASCAR stars. Young drivers, some very well-known names like Dale Earnhardt Jr., all hoping to try and challenge Kyle Busch, winner of three straight races. He and the others hoping to avoid the big wreck and take home a big trophy at day's end. NASCAR returns to the biggest, baddest super speedway around, where last year Kyle Busch experienced a different kind of role. At 22, he tries to become only the second driver to win four in a row. Standing in his way, Tony Stewart, who last year lost by the slimmest margin of the season. If anybody had to go by me, I sure as hell would rather be you. Thank you, bud. It took 10 months, and Tony and his new Toyota had redemption. Tony Stewart will win the season opener at Daytona. Six wounds under his belt. No one is more intimidating here than Dale Earnhardt Jr. Can he find victory lane in his own ride? And everyone is on the lookout for the big one. You think you're going to escape the big one, but you seldom do. Bumper to bumper at 190 miles per hour. Buckle up. This is Talladega. And we welcome you to ESPN's NASCAR Countdown as the NASCAR Nationwide Series gets set for its once-a-year race at the Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama. Those scattered thunderstorms are in the forecast. The track is dry now. These drivers are all getting ready to go. Introductions beginning shortly. Mike Bliss starts on the front row. There's Cale Gale, the youngster driving for Kevin Harvick. Brad Coleman, also another one of the young Nationwide Series drivers, and Brad Keselowski driving for Dale Earnhardt Jr., one of the threats to win today. Let's go trackside now and begin our interviews with a man who starts on the front row outside. Mike Bliss is with our Jamie Little. And he's a Nationwide only driver, and yesterday Mike Bliss, he told me it's not necessarily about running with the experienced drivers here, it's about running with those who have won here. You're starting second, nobody who's won is immediately around you. What's your plan, Mike? Uh, you can sit here and make a plan. Um, and I've been thinking about it pretty hard too all all day. Yeah, I don't know. You know, yeah, you want to get behind Stewart or the five um, junior. Um, you know, I think us uh, nationwide guys need to stick together and just team up on them, gang up on them. So maybe uh, Jason and I talked a little bit. You know, it's, we're going to try to stay up front. Our Mikasuki Chevrolet was really fast yesterday, and uh, I'm just going to fight and claw as much as I can to stay up front today. Hey, this could get exciting, A.B. We could get a little nationwide only drivers versus the cup drivers, see how it turns out. Oh, it's always exciting at Talladega, Jamie. And you look now at the start-finish line at this racetrack. That's the tri-oval where the start-finish line is at most speedways. Talladega, things are a little different. It's down closer to turn number one. A lot can happen between that tri-oval and that finish line. We've seen it many times over the years. And there's our ESPN pit studio with a wonderful view of what we hope to be an exciting finish of today's race. And we welcome you inside. Alan Bestwick, proud to be joined by former Talladega winner Dale Jarrett and former NASCAR Nationwide Series team owner Brad Doherty. The racing here at Talladega, a few words to describe what we're going to see in these next couple hours. Alan, it's the most nerve-wracking, intense racing that these guys will do all year long. You're never able to get away from the other cars. The pack of cars you're going to be in all day long. You're looking in your mirror constantly. The spotter's in your ear. You know, as much as we talk about how intense it really is, at the end of the day, it's a lot of fun if you can get to that part. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You're talking four and five wide racing. You're talking about these big V8s gasping for air. You're talking about on the mat. We got beverages. We got burgers. <laughs> we got burning rubber. This is as good as it gets. It's a whole scene. Racing here is just different for a driver. It's different from what they normally do most every other week of the season. Yeah, because it's all about drafting. It doesn't matter how good your car is. Everybody's going to be wide open. Everybody's got the, the basically the same horsepower. The, the cars aerodynamically are a lot the same. It's about drafting and learning the draft. What your car is going to do a little bit better than someone else. How that's going to get you to the front of the pack at the end of 117 laps. Yeah, and as I talk to these guys, Carl Edwards and Greg Biffle and whatnot, they talk about experimenting with their cars early, trying to figure out what their race car 
car does best. They want to get out front and run, see how fast their car is with other cars, how big a hole it can knock in the air. And so they're working throughout the day, building momentum. And like DJ says, as the day goes on, it gets more and more intense because you're working towards winning. These guys all look pretty relaxed right now, sitting there waiting for things to happen. But I guarantee you, in about 20 minutes from now, when they start buckling into those race cars, the tempo is going to pick up on their heart rate and uh, and their thoughts. And, and uh, it will be a very event-filled afternoon for all of these drivers here at Talladega. Coming up, the name Earnhardt is synonymous with winning at this racetrack. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the field, as is his young protege, Brad Keselowski. Could he be a first-time Talladega winner today? We'll talk with the early season contenders for the championship, Clint Boyer, Carl Edwards, and the series' hottest driver, Kyle Busch. And the big wreck. It usually happens in a Talladega race. Dodging it is one of the keys to winning this race. You're watching ESPN on ABC.